Hey everyone, and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I will show you step by step how to deposit on BitHump, and I will also show you how to withdraw cryptocurrencies of this exchange. I will leave all the important timestamps in the description down below, so make sure to take a look at those. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video. The first thing I will show you is how to deposit on BitGlobal. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is to go over to their website, bithome.pro, and you'll then see a page looking similar to this one. Over on their website, you want to go over to Assets in the top right and click on the Deposit button. You'll then see a page looking similar to this one. And since we want to deposit cryptocurrencies, the first thing you need to do is to select a coin you would like to deposit. You can scroll down to see all the coins that are available to deposit and which coins are suspended. So for this example, I'll go ahead and select Bitcoin. Once you have selected the coin you would like to deposit, you'll see the address. You can now go ahead and copy the address by clicking on those two papers. And as you can see, my address has been copied. Once you have copied your address, you need to go over to the exchange you want to transfer from. For me, this will be Binance. And over on this exchange, you need to look for a button saying Withdrawal. On Binance, this button is located under the Wallet section and then under Finance Spot page. So once you're on the Finance Spot page, you need to click on the Withdrawal button in the top right. You'll then need to select the coin, in this case that's Bitcoin. And once you've selected the coin, you can go ahead and fill in the address you want to withdraw to. I just copied my address, so I can go ahead and paste in my address. Now there is a chance that the network will be instantly selected. But if it's not, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer and then the name of the crypto you're trying to transfer. Once you have selected the right network, all that's left to do is to fill in the amount of Bitcoin you would like to withdraw. You can fill in this amount manually, or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. And once you've done that, you can click on withdraw. You'll then see the withdrawal confirmation, and please make sure to double check all the information to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. Now that you know how to deposit crypto on this exchange, I will show you how to withdraw from BitGlobal. The first thing you need to do is to go over to assets in the top right. You'll then need to click on the withdrawal button. You'll then see the withdrawal page and you need to select the coin you would like to withdraw. For this example, I'll be using Bitcoin, but the process will be the same for every cryptocurrency. Once you have selected the coin, you need to fill in the withdrawal address. To find this address, you need to go over to the exchange you would like to transfer to. For me, this exchange is Binance. You'll then need to go ahead and search for a button saying deposit. On Binance, this button is located under the wallet and then on the Finance Spot page. And once you've found the deposit button, you need to click on it. You'll then need to select the coin you would like to deposit. For me, that's Bitcoin. And once you have selected the coin, you will also have to select the network you want to use. In this case, I'll go ahead and select the Bitcoin network. But if you're not sure which network to use, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer and then the name of the coin you're trying to transfer. And once you have selected the right network, you can now go ahead and copy your address. Once you have copied your address, you can go back over to BitHump and paste in your withdrawal address. You'll now have to go ahead and fill in the amount of BTC or any other cryptocurrency you would like to transfer. As you guys know, I don't have any Bitcoin as of right now, but for the example, I'll just go ahead and fill in 0 0.045. You can now go ahead and fill in your fund password and the Google verification code. And once you've done that, all that's left to do is to click on submit. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.